Dave and I met on August 5th, 2014, in a seminar on how to be better communicators. He was at the front of the room, sharing his journey to America. As I listened to him tell his story, I was moved to tears by his strength of character. This man was unlike anyone I had ever met before or since. His energy, his love for all who meet him, and his playful spirit warmed my heart. Being with Jason as my partner, that has me own and be comfortable with, you know, being gay. Every day with him is like climbing Mount Everest, right? Like we wake up and we're like, okay, what mountain are we climbing today? He's kind of crazy, you know, crazy in a good way. Crazy in the way that have me and my reserved, perfectionist, conservative way kind of step out of my, my box, step out of my comfort zone and just start owning parts of myself that I've never seen before. Because we're focused on getting to the top of the mountain, we don't have time to look at each other and, you know, oh, you're getting fat, or oh, you know, your back is getting hairy, or oh, you're getting older. All those petty concerns that you have, you know, you left your dirty clothes on the floor. Those little details will destroy a relationship if you're not focused on something bigger than the relationship. He's perfect in the way that he have me, um, you know, break down the areas of my life where I have a barrier of protection. Like, do I look good now? Or, you know, hell, like two years ago, I wore a toupee. Because <laughs> I lost my hair when I was really young. Hold me close and hold me fast. We went on three dates within the first seven days of knowing each other. A week after our first date, I sat him down on the bed and I told him to close his eyes and hold out his hand. I placed a wedding band in his palm, closed his hand into a fist, told him to open his eyes and tell me anything he wanted. He looked me in the eye, looked down at the ring, back at me, and he said, will you marry me? And I said yes. Every day would seem to turn into love songs. Give your heart and soul to me, and life will always be lively. Oh, I would say Paris is the perfect place to celebrate love because it's the most beautiful city on the earth. And when you speak, angels sing from above. Every day would seem to turn into love. When you're here, you feel beautiful. Give your heart and soul to me, and life will always be love. You know, this experience you know, is incredible on many levels. The first part is just being able to have our you know, I love each other captured in one of the most romantic places on the face of the earth. You know, it's terrifying for me as well um, in that, you know, people from my home country might see this. You know, my home country is, is not open to, you know, the gay culture. Being gay doesn't mean something's wrong with you. You know, being gay doesn't mean that some, something needs to get fixed. For someone who has their doubts and has insecurities, we all do. When you're with him, there's no insecurity because life is always perfect when you're around him. Our friends often tell us that they've given up on love. They're a little bit cynical about it. They say love doesn't exist. But we would say that there's a special someone out there for everyone. You just have to believe it's possible. Dave and I live every day like it's our last. It's not always easy, but it's sure a lot of fun. And we have memories that will last us a lifetime.